hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i decided to get dressed up i meant to be some like i don't know spiritual goddess voodoo witch i don't even know but it's halloween and i usually don't celebrate halloween like it doesn't mean anything to me however i do like to get dressed up and i thought why not so i do need to say that it is ha like halloween today so that people who watch my video don't think that i dress like this all the time because <laughs> i feel like people would actually believe that because i'm a leo rising and we're a little weird sometimes we're very expressive of what we wear <laughs> um but yeah with that being said uh let's find out who is falling in love with you or who's going to be falling in love with you? All right, so I have three piles. Um, so we have pile one, which is the fresh refreshes candy, refreshes candy. And pile two, we have the love hearts. And pile three, we have the strawberry lollipop. So go ahead and pick your piles. I need to blow out this candle. Like I feel like it's going to melt into the cake. I don't really like to blow it, but yeah all right so with that being said um i'm gonna go stop so let me move these things out of the way move that out of the way okay so if you chose pile one you chose oh yeah sorry zero one twenty three i think yeah you guys chose this freshness refreshes sorry Okay, so let's see who is falling in love with part one. We have Jump In, Andrew Median Energy and uh, Adventure, Say Yes to Change. We have Baby on Board. We have 59, Spread the Light. Five is a number of change. Nine is a number of endings. So there could have been a change once you've had an ending with this person or an ending of something is leading to this person. Thought process, feeling. Five plus nine is 14, which still rounds back to five, which is all about change. Okay. We have the number no, not number no. We have the word no. What's up with my brain today? We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And we have the justice. Could be a Libra. We have the empress, could be Libra Taurus. And we have the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be any sign. This is just about energy. We have soulmate. Aww. We have I love you. Wow, that was very clear. And we have the heart chakra. Wow. Okay. So with that being said, who is falling in love with you guys? So the person falling in love with you, they could be any of the signs that I mentioned. This is someone you definitely know. So it's not like a random person who's like been admiring you from a distance that's falling in love with you. Like this person, you you have history, you know this person. Um, but I feel like there could have been some sort of rejection at some point. So either you rejected them or they rejected you or someone in this uh, connection felt rejected. They felt like maybe the other person doesn't like them me or the or i don't like the other person kind of feeling but i'm getting for some of you it could have been just a misunderstanding an assumption due to low self-esteem right this person um is a type of person that may have been very fearful or you could have been very fearful of being hurt or fearful of falling in love or vice versa apply where it resonates if you know you're not the one who's fearful then it was this person it, or it could even be both of you but all I know is that someone in the situation was very fearful to fall in love. They felt like they were going to get hurt. So they kind of pushed the other person away. They kind of closed their heart off and tried to protect themselves. Uh, but meanwhile, um, the, the person who's in love with you is somebody who's very grounded, very stable, very attractive, very beautiful, very fair and very balanced. So maybe this most likely could have been you feeling like, OK, I don't think anybody's in love with me. I, I, I doubt that you guys could resonate with being a little bit hard to tie down and not in a way where you want to be a player but in a way where you're kind of very guarded of your heart like you don't want to get hurt some of you may have got hurt before and you just don't want to repeat that cycle and i don't blame you but this person um, who will fall in love with you was going to fall in love with you or is already falling in love with you this person is very just they're very balanced but i'm getting a very detached um um energy from them they are very ambitious they're very driven but they're also giving a lot of um Aries vibes. There are no Aries cards here, but I'm getting Aries vibes because I feel like this person is not afraid to try new things when it comes to career, when it comes to challenges, hobbies, anything. So I feel like um, this person would be more open to it than you. 
um however i feel like when this person and you get closer together because i feel like i feel like you know of this person you know but it's like you may not know them on a greater capacity okay um yeah i'm hearing the song i would never fall in love not until i found her this person sees you really really beautiful um very very balanced very very grounded um i feel i strongly feel like you just know this person but i don't know if this person was an ex or you just know of this person and you just never took it to that level but there was fears holding both of you back or one of you back more than the other but i feel like one person's more open to you know exploring where this could be we do have baby on board so either this person could have been very immature or this person is going to be someone you have children with or you already have children with for some of you but i feel like there's a high chance of you having children with this person if you don't already have children with this person because we do even have the empress as well this can denote pregnancy so there's a lot of love here because i feel like someone it could have been you who's a bit afraid to take things to the next level a bit afraid to fall in love and maybe you could have sworn off like you know maybe love is just not for me maybe it's not real and let me focus on my bag let me focus on money because money won't hurt me the way human beings have and i feel like this person coming in or this person falling in love with you um, is somebody who's going to make you believe in love all over again you're going to feel like you know what i thought i didn't want love but then you're going to for. and that's the funny thing about human beings what i've really noticed is that no matter how adamant you feel like you are to not accept love and to avoid love and feel like you're going to be on your own and you could be independent there's just something in your soul that just god just makes you just open up your heart to people no matter how tough you think you are no matter how much you feel like you can control your own emotions for some reason it just bursts out and you know especially for a woman that's one thing i've noticed I've, I've had my own experience like this myself where i'm like yeah i'm not really gonna fall in love with anyone i'm not really interested in anyone and then i go through many phases where i just don't really care but then out of nowhere that's just that one person that just stands out and sometimes they're guided by spirit like for example i get dreams about certain people before they enter my life and it's usually in a period of time where i don't even want love and then boom they just show up and then my feelings just out of nowhere comes so it could be the same for you guys where you may feel like i don't want to deal with love right now i'd rather focus on the bag because the bag is not going to break my heart but then god is sending you someone if you haven't met this person but i feel like you guys know this person you know of this person at least um they're going to send you this person you're going to fall in love the way they are falling in love with you you know and it's going to be like a refresher like this person's going to make you feel like a kid again and make you believe in love all over again this person this person's a catalyst to your growth you may be someone who really fears change you may feel like i i like the way things are i don't even want to bother uh, my my peace being disturbed but this person's going to be like i'm not here to disturb your peace I'm here to add to your peace. Like this person's not coming to ruin your life. So that's why I'm saying jump in. Like this is this is going to be a love that you you don't even see coming because they're falling for you or they're going to be falling for you if you don't know them. But if you already know them, they're already falling for you. And I feel like this bond will deepen, but there needs to be a communication. I'm getting a sense that there isn't much communication, but there needs to be communication. Um, this person is a catalyst for change and helping you conquer those those fears this person is going to really heal you uh this person is very positive we do have spread the light this person i feel like this person has gone through their fair share of problems but they are very uh empathetic and very positive there could be a sagittarius even um very optimistic no matter what they go through they always look at the good so this person practices gratitude um yeah so in the beginning you may have felt rejected or this person may have felt rejected from you there was like this element of guardedness i don't know why but there was just an element of guardedness but now i feel like that's that's gonna change okay and that's why spirit is saying give your relationship a chance maybe you could have been the type of person who's like well i try my best to be open to these things but there's always that fear holding me back so maybe it's just better if i just focus on the money but then I think God is kind of nudging you in a bit, kind of letting you say, you know what? You've always wanted a love that is genuine, that is true, that is loyal, that is rooted in morality. And 
if you shut yourself off, you're not going to be open to receive such things. So I'm giving you a chance to be open to this, but follow your intuition, of course, follow your brain, but you know, take your heart with you. It's okay. You can take it slow. Like I feel that with people you need to understand, like, even if you're the type of person that wants quick romance, if you feel like you've been hurt, you may feel like, let me close myself off, but you don't have to close yourself off to people. You can take your time and go at the pace and even befriend people, you know, and just see how things pick up and see how things go. And if they show you any red flags, if you don't get any red flags, then, you know, I guess that's a good sign, right? But there's just something about the heart chakra being reopened. I feel like this really is a refresher because I feel like for a long time, you may have felt like it's, it's too good to be true. Like love like this, even if even if like you believe love is real, you may have felt like it's, it's too impossible for you to achieve such love, but you can. It is there, no matter how many negative stories there are about love these days, there will always be so many positive ones, but they just, it's just negative news spreads faster than positive news. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if you hear about all these couples who are happy and enjoying their marriage, enjoying their relationships, they're not like the majority, like they're not like being posted. Some of these people keep their relationship private and secret, so you wouldn't know. But the thing is, a lot of negative relationships get posted a lot and so it, i don't blame people for being afraid of it but this person is very grounded i'm not saying this person is rich but all i'm saying is this person has a job okay they're grounded they're stable they could be very stoic they're very calm cool collected secure in themselves they could just be um, very introverted i'm getting like an earth sign vibe very introverted very calm and mellow okay they could have a bit of aquarius in the chart very detached but they, they're very compassionate. This person um, has been watching you from a distance. They find you absolutely stunning, by the way. Um, they like your vibe. Some of you, if you're like me, I, you could be a mother, right? But this person doesn't care that you're a mother, you know, if you are a mother. If you're not a mother, this person would like to have children with you as well. So they would like to make you a mother. <laughs> Um, but I'm getting really good vibes. This person is a soulmate, okay? And you know, my belief on soulmates isn't like, okay, you have one soulmate and then you fall in love and then you live happily ever after. No, like, I feel like soulmates depend on how much work you've done on yourself. If you've done a lot of work on yourself and you've become the best version of yourself, then you're most likely going to marry a soulmate that mirrors that. But if you feel like there's still parts of yourself that you need to really work on, there may be insecurity issues, maybe possessiveness or or jealousy, whatever it may be, then you're most likely going to attract someone who kind of mirrors that back to you. I feel like we're all reflections of each other to some extent, some extent. But this person really, like, they're going to be sure that they love you. I feel like this person is very loyal too. They're very just. They're very loyal. You would never have to question who they're talking to, where they're at. They're just very low-key. They keep themselves to themselves. They don't really... I feel like if they have social media, they don't really post much. Like, this person would much rather just focus on work and, and go back home. Like, this person's not really social like that, so... Um, this person could also be, for some of you, vegan. Especially if they're a woman. If they're a man, they could be not vegan, but vegetarian. I don't know why I'm getting that. They could have grown up. If they're not a vegetarian they, and they're a man, they could have grown up as a vegetarian. Um, that's a really random message, but yes, they could have grown up as a vegetarian. Um, they could have some South Asian um, ancestry or could have a little bit of it in their like lineage somewhere. They may not be fully, they could be mixed. Um, this person could travel far for work, I'm getting. Very balanced, very stoic. If they're a man, they could have like short to mid, mid hair length. If they're a woman, they have really long hair. Um, I heard easy tiger. <laughs> this person's very uh, passionate about you. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting fire signs, but there's no like fire cards, but it's just the energy they're exuding. Um, this person has a very cute giggle as well and kind eyes, that's what I'm getting. Um, I've been getting that, that message a lot, even on my Instagram readings, like I've been getting like kind eyes, kind eyes, but yeah. This person is very graceful. But that's all I'm getting for pile number one, guys. I'm going to move on to pile number two. 
Oh yeah, this could have been like an ending of a mindset. Maybe you were very like, so hell bent on like not finding love again. And then it just pops out of nowhere. Don't you hate when God does that? <laughs> but yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. Speaking of which, you could have children with this next person, but yeah, I'm gonna move on now. Okay. All right, so 1530, pile two. You guys chose the love hearts. I love this. I'm, I'm channeling the song. I want to ruin the friendship. We should be lovers instead. Like, uh, I feel like this person could be a friend. I don't know why. This is giving me nostalgia. This is giving me childhood sweethearts or someone who you've been friends with. It's giving platonic energy that can progress to something more. Um, it's very, it's giving innocence because I'm hearing my all true love, blue eyes, don't cry. Yeah, some of them could have blue eyes, not all of them. But this person's very sweet. I'm getting water energy. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have. We have karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Okay. We have 25 fit the well. Two is the number of partnerships and five is the number of change. There could be changes to this partnership, like from transitioning from friendship to more. Um, two plus five equals seven. So this is going to be a relationship that provides a lot of learning, a lot of growth. Or you could have learned a lot from this person, a lot of growth. There's a lot of going, there's a lot of um, karma in this relationship. Doesn't have to be bad, but you have romance. This gives me Libra vibes because Libra is a romantic sign, right? But I'm also getting earth and air in general. We also have the charm, um, we have the clear quartz crystal. Okay, so the person I'm talking about may be very direct, very honest, or you just know who this person is. It's very clear who this person is. Your intuition is like screaming. We have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. We have king of wands. We have two of cups. We have strength card, could be a Leo. We have fear. We have no, we have jealousy, and we have loyal. This gives me Leo vibes because when I think of Leos, I think of them as loyal and possessive. So um, this person also fears rejection, okay? This person, they take huge pride in how who they are. They don't like rejection, okay? I mean, I'm not saying anyone loves rejection, but you know what I mean? Like this person really does not like at all, like, they could dish it, but they can't take it kind of energy. And that's what I'm getting. But it could be a water sign as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or, or any fire sign, Earth, whatever it may be. But what I'm getting here is this is someone who you could be either currently talking to or you could be friends with. Because we have the two of cups here. And that's all, that's a connection that is already pre-existing. And it could be platonic and it could be romantic. It's up to you. This person is strategizing on how to come towards you or in like a romantic manner they could be trying to drop hints there here and there um but because they fear rejection and so i feel like this person they may feel like they want to control the narrative they may try their best to feel like okay um if i do this maybe that will help speed things along this person may be a bit prideful i'm not gonna lie because the strength card is here so this person may try and push and pull or do those kind of weird toxic in my opinion um traits where they may pull back their energy and then give it sometimes pull back and then give it or may they might act like you don't exist one day and then act like they're about you one day like they could be wishy-washy and inconsistent and that's only because they're trying to see how you react they're, they're strategizing and trying to plan and see how you react to things and how to make you theirs um but i feel like this connection is a type of connection that you're meant to learn a lot from like i feel like it's very karmic it's giving karmic connection and a karmic doesn't have to mean like it's not gonna last or it's toxic or it's gonna be a really horrible connection no 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 like nothing like that but it's i feel like you guys may feel a bit a little bit more in tune with yourself than this person 
because i'm not getting the most grounded energy from this person like i feel like you guys just sit on your throne in your femininity and i feel like this person doesn't really know what to do they kind of hope that they can get you to chase them and you probably are thinking like yeah i'm not gonna do that and not even out of pride but it's just it feels so unnatural for your character like why why do i need to do that <laughs> why do i need to do that that's so weird you know i feel i'm not gonna lie part two i feel like this person may be more into you than than you think like you may feel like this person isn't that much into you but they are they just hold back a lot of emotions um but the lawyer here i i get like they even if this person talks to other people even if you know they are with someone else or whoever it may be i'm getting like their heart knows that you are the best for them they know that you are the one for them and they're planning to make you theirs however um they also feel like maybe you don't return those feelings so they're also scared of rejection because we do have the no here and we have jealousy here so this person's very jealous um again like this could be a platonic connection they may be jealous if you talk to other people or you know or this could be a romantic connection and they're just jealous over you they just don't want anyone to have you this person they hustle hard they work hard because we do have to fill the well so they are a hard worker um but they have a little bit of control so there could be a fixed sign so leo scorpio aquarius and Is that all of them? Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Yeah, so they could be any of those or have it prominent in their chart because this person very controlling, okay? And they're trying, and it doesn't have to be in a way where they control other people, but it could just be in a way where like they're controlling themselves. They're like, they're trying their best. Like this person may be the type that they want to like, watch what you do they want to stalk what you do they want to be all about you but they don't want to inflate your ego they already feel like you, you may not like them as much so they don't want to simp for you so they may hold back a little bit so that's that that could be their version of taking control but this person always wants to know everything about you but they don't want to ask too many questions because it comes across like they're trying to control you so it's like they try to hold back i feel like they they have a lot of inner demons okay they see you more grounded than than um than themselves but it's very clear crystal clear that this person likes you and it's really crystal clear of the person that comes to your mind you know because that's the person that likes you but i feel like this connection if i'm gonna be honest with you i don't see it i don't see it lasting for long like if you like this person back i don't or you love this person back i don't feel like it's one of those ones that are very long unless you both just don't give up on each other then it can be long term but the reason why i say this is because i feel like i'm sensing a lot of conflict like there's going to be a lot of like conflict and i already feel like this person likes you or loves you is falling for you way more than you would fall for them i feel like you wouldn't fall for them um as hard so do you see what i'm saying like i'm not getting you guys feeling hurt by this you know if you feel like oh i don't want that reading pick another pile because i'm getting this is a more like a connection that gets brought in to, to learn lessons from each other you know but this could have been a friendship first because i'm hearing i want to ruin the friendship we should be lovers instead so yeah again karmic relationships they're there to serve lessons and to learn a lot of it it's very um it's just it's a lot of fire energy so it's kind of like quick to start quick to end you know and i feel that you guys may be very well liked well you know a lot of people may feel this way towards you and i feel like in your mind it's kind of like you kind of wish that people don't confess feelings to you because like it kind of ruins things between you so maybe this person wants to ruin the friendship but maybe you may not feel like you want to ruin that friendship as well you know but this person i feel that this person sees you as um a true love um but also there's something about your energy that is also very comforting okay and there's something about you that's very real okay um solid but yeah there's something about you that's very solid grounded and very real and there's something about your energy that this person doesn't experience anywhere there's something very unique about you 
and that's why they're falling for you because you're very different you stand out they watch you from a distance they think about you a lot they think about how to take the right steps to get towards you i'm hearing sp i love game play i love game so i feel like this person may feel like they have to treat this as strategy i'm just gonna keep it real like they feel like i have to play my cards right to get to part two when in reality they could just be themselves like they don't it does, not everything needs a strategy but i think it comes from their insecurities so there is going to be romance oh sorry guys my battery is running out but yeah there's romance and there is going to be romance but just be careful because i feel like it might not last as long like it's just there to serve lessons on both ends um but yeah, because there's too much control. And I feel like you guys may be the type of people that just don't really like to be controlled, you know? Who knows? But I mean, it could last forever. If you're into being controlled and dominated, then I guess it could last a long time, but it's just gonna not be an easy ride, okay? Tarot is fluid, nothing is set in stone, but this is just me predicting based on current energy. It, this could change. Uh, but that's what I'm getting. I'm gonna move on to power number three. Um, I'm hearing test me as well so they may test you a lot and then they may project i feel like this person projects a lot they'll be like oh, everyone does this and people are like this and why is everyone like this but really it's like they're projecting onto you because people have projected onto them and then they're projecting onto you so they may put you through a lot of tests and you may be not with the shit. like i feel like you're the type of person where like i'm not playing any games like if you want to play test, if you want to test me or play games, I'm not for you because I don't play that, you know? So you could be very mature and this person could be a little bit immature. But that's all I'm getting. I'm going to move on. Okay, so. 2700. Okay, pal three, you guys chose the lollipop, the strawberry lollipop. So who is falling in love with you or who is going to be falling in love with you so we have earthed learning how to be human in the world Ooh, learning how to be human in the world but not of it i'm getting aquarius energy and also um i was about to say gemini energy but I'm, what i meant to say was earth energy grounded energy okay we have 56 rise and shine five is the number of change six is the number of balance and reciprocity even good karma add them together and you get 11 which is a master number what about manifestation but it, again it all rounds back to two which is partnership so there's something linking to equal give and take and change dream success as well as your relationship okay we also have another card oh power three got an extra card don't tell the other piles uh, we have 58, give yourself the best. And um, five, again, change. Eight is abundance. There's going to be changes in your finances dealing with this person. And five plus eight equals, am I really bad at math? <laughs> 13, right? No, yeah, maybe 13, which rounds back to four, just stability. Okay. Ooh, abundance for you guys then. We also have success wow as a charm we have the crown uh we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek that should be me holding your hand that's what that's what i'm hearing uh we have the magician could be a gemini or a virgo water sign knight of cups cancer Pisces, scorpio ace of wands fire sign um leo sagittarius aries and we have the seven of pentacles we have manifestation wow did i not say that hiding i'm hurt and yes all right so uh who is falling in love with power three or who's going to be falling in love with power three this person is very it's going to be very sure of you not a, this is I, I feel like it's not even going to be a crush this is more like it goes from an interest to getting to know you to i'm falling in love okay 
it's going to happen faster in your life than you think. You may not even be talking to this person or you may not know this person as well. Or some of you do know of this person, but it's like, some of you don't. Like it's new energy. Ace of Wands is like new, fresh. Uh, so some of you, you could know of this person, but you've never talked to them or you've never talked to them romantically in that kind of way. And then something out of nowhere makes you talk to them. Okay. Um, this person's a very detached person. That's why I was saying Aquarius energy. There, there could be Aquarius Venus, but um, this person is very detached, very grounded. Um, I don't want to say this in a rude way, but some people may assume this person is on the spectrum only because of how detached they are, how much they don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Respectfully. Uh, to be honest, I get that a lot. A lot of people assume I'm on the spectrum just because I don't really give a fuck about a lot of things. Um, and that's just called self-love, really. It's called having health, like a healthy relationship with reality of life. You know, some things are beyond my control, so I just don't really stress about it. But then people interpret that to mean you're very detached. But it's more like, I feel like this person is more of a case of like, they may be quiet, maybe reserved, introverted and people just take it to me and okay you're on the spectrum just because you're not allowed you know people always on people always ask or may ask this person why are you quiet but then no one ever bothers to ask why are you loud like why is your mouth always yappa 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 like why is silence a problem for you you know like people always assume like if you don't conform to what other people are doing then there's something wrong with you so that's why i said like they could be on the spectrum but that's only based upon societal judgment this person may be completely fine they're not but they may get that a lot you know um this person i feel like this person looks up to you okay so some of you you could have your own business you could be doing something amazing in your life you could have a good career good job uh this person looks up to you this person feels like you you deserve it you work hard and this person i feel like this person um they may you may inspire them so it's kind of like they fall in love with you because of like who you are and like what you can achieve and not what you have but more so who you are the essence of who you are they fall in love with just getting to know you as a person um there's going to be a lot of changes to this connection but this person is capable of giving you an equal give and take so this person is very um, balanced in terms when it comes to relationships i'm getting this person's very low key like, they don't really feel the need to do too much, you know? Um, this person loves themselves enough to want the best for themselves and they see you as the best, but they also see that you also see yourself as the best. So, you know, it's mutual energy. This person sees you successful and this person could even be successful themselves or they feel inspired by you to become successful and then I see them working towards it. Um, this person could literally be the one. So you guys could even have a crush on this person. For some of you, you could already know this person for most of you, but like this person could literally be the one, like the, the one you end up settling down with, okay? And the reason why this card is coming up that I think, I think it's because this is most likely someone you've manifested. Even if you don't know what they look like, some of you just may have a, a mood board or a dream journal, and you may think, okay, well, the kind of person that I want to manifest looks like this and has this and is like this they have this character trait and you may have just talked about it maybe use mirror magic candle magic um music magic you may have done something like an affirmation and really visualized it in your mind like this is the type of person i want you got like i don't know what you guys but what i have is i have a journal and it says gemini on it it was a gift given to me by you know my friends and basically I wrote down a list of goals I wanted to achieve and I have like a box next to it to tick off when I achieve it. And it's been, I've, I've been ticking off so many of my achievements lately. So you could have written, you could have written something like, okay, this is the type of person I want to marry. They will have this trait, this trait, this trait, this trait, and this is the type of person I want to marry. So you can revisit that and tick that off because this is the person you've manifested, right? So you don't know who this person is or you don't know when this person is coming. For some of you, you do know who this person is, but you know, the romantic feelings on this person's end are growing quicker than, than what you would have assumed. This could be a crush energy, but it's, it will lead to more. But this is someone you definitely manifested with this magician card and manifestation. You are you the way you win at your own life, or you're winning in your own life, or going to be winning in your own life is the same way this person is winning at life. 
This person is a mirror to you. The more you feel inspired to do things, they're going to feel inspired to do things. And I also feel like this is someone you definitely wanted. Um, Character-wise, everything-wise, this is someone who you would have manifested for yourself. And it's coming into fruition. God heard your answers. God heard your prayers, sorry. And he's finally bringing it into fruition. So if you've been single for quite some time, you're finally going to be attracting that person that meets all those um, standards for you, that you set for yourself. This person is very attentive, very romantic, very sweet. I also have poetic. So this person may write. It doesn't have to be music, but this person may write either poetry or just draw or just write something in their own journal. And this person is very sweet. So something about the... I'm getting... I'm getting... I don't know why I'm getting maternal, but this even if this person is a male, like this person knows how to take care of someone. So this person is very attentive and very sweet, okay? Um, this is a bit of an inappropriate message. This person fantasizes about you sexually. <laughs> In case you were wondering how, very naughty. Because I'm here, I take you to the candy shop. Da, da, I let you let the lollipop. Oh, you guys actually chose a lollipop. This person could have a big lollipop if they're a guy. If they're a girl, this person just has really, really good head game. Or if it's LGBT, this woman just she just knows how to hit the right spots. Let's just put it that way. Or if even if it's gay like this guy I, you know what i mean okay this person sexually good 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 this person could even be very sexual in general okay i'm getting fire sign energy sagittarius energy um i'm just saying maybe this person had a dream about you sexually and that's not that's beyond their control like you just popped out of nowhere but yeah astral projection and that but this person sees you as a literal queen, king. This person sees you going places. But this person could also be exactly the same. You guys could literally be destined to be together. Maybe it's you guys' union is what builds into building an empire together. You know, power couple vibes. But this person is very stable. Um, I'm not saying they're rich right now. I'm not going to lie. Right now, no. They're not rich. They're working hard, they're grinding, they're sowing in the seeds because we do have the seven of pentacles. So this person is sowing in the seeds to get to success, but they are going to be destined for success. But I feel like their career is somehow tied to you and tied to love. So I feel like the more you elevate, the more this person elevates and then you guys will marry each other. Why am I getting Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas? I'm visualizing them and I don't know why, but maybe you guys are different cultures different countries different you know maybe even skin tones complexions but this person is is very cautious about who they give their time and energy to so if they're giving their time and energy to you baby i feel like for some of you this person is just very introverted and they may you may not talk as much to this person you may not even talk to this person at all they may not talk to you but it's because they they feel like they don't have enough to approach you so if you feel like who is gemini empress even talking about i don't even know anyone like that i ain't even talking to no one then that's because this person is hiding right now okay they feel like they're not really on your level they feel like they don't really have much they just want to work on themselves first and then approach you you know or even if you are in contact with this person like they they make little gestures here and there, but I feel like this per I'm getting a strong view that this person doesn't really start conversations as much with you, if I'm going to be honest with you. And that's because they just feel like they, they don't have enough right now. Um, this person could also be healing because we do have I'm hurt. So this person could also be healing from a lot of things that have taken place in their life that kind of stunt their um, belief systems as to, can I really have this? Can I really achieve this? You know? But this person, they're, they're their own biggest critics. They could be Virgo or have Virgo on their chart. But um, this person is very sweet, okay? Some of you could have studied with this person. You could have gone to school with this person. Um, and then they're just coming right back around. I'm also hearing pay attention to your dreams. You could have dreamt about this person. But...
I'm hearing people, you know, I don't know that song. I think it's by Selena Gomez, something about people, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It may, there may be a little bit of distance between you and this person currently, and it's not intentional. I just feel like there's just so much to get done and like they don't, sometimes this person may not know what to say, so they may come off as very detached. And vice versa, you could feel like, well, I don't want to reach out. I don't want to bother someone. I have nothing really to say. All I can do is just think about this person, manifest this person, and keep on with my life. This person will eventually reach out. But this person, if you have Instagram, this person looks at your stories. This person be thinking about you a lot. They could be showing up in your dreams a lot. And yeah, that's all I'm getting. I hope that was helpful. Sorry, I just wrapped it up that quickly, but uh, my battery's running out. That's why. So um, take care. I might do a collective reading today. So. Why not? Bye.